many people I got in that truck. They're hanging to their inside the truck and hanging on to all the sides. That's actually a jeepney. Mm -hmm. That's a jeepney. And so they got probably 30, 40 people inside and everybody on the outside and on top. I see a little boy forward sitting about where the driver would be. Wow, I just had to speed up and, and catch that for you. another jeepney coming around the mountain we're going to be meeting them here in a minute and uh, it's top heavy it's got the top riders on it and it's very very over overloaded <coughs> so here they come now Okay, wow, we just came around a corner here and we've got a shot. Uh, I'm gonna say that island out there is called Sikior. Yeah. S I Q U I O U R. Island of Fire. Island of Fire. <laughs> I got big old trucks coming behind me. It looks okay. Uh, and then Dumaguete is probably going to be that little city right down here at the bottom of the mountain. Wow, we're ways up here, guys. And we have more mountain above us. Not much more. We're pretty much at the top now. Yeah. But I'm going to let you hold that for and keep it panned out over the water and stuff. Okay. And then on the other side is uh, Panay Island, maybe. Panay? No. No, no Cebu. The next, next island of this one. No, Cebu's Cebu. over here. Cebu no. Heights right here. We're here in the Orient. Yeah. Well, Panay, it's far away now. It's the other side. Wow. Such a spectacular view from up here.
Okay, I'll bet. Okay. I'm going to have Rose get out and take a couple of uh, snapshots for you guys. Record or uh, snapshots? I mean, photos. so pretty down there you've got everything from rice fields to sugarcane and there's a bunch of cut out neat fish farms and North Negros is being flooded right now you can see the rain over there where we come from in the Bacola City too much room yeah back down over there down down there there's uh, about a dozen or so big fish farms there you can see them very very neatly made at least it looks like it from up here Guys, I was uh, driving by here, and I thought we had a big old uh, uh, fishing lake out there. But no, that's solar fields, solar panels, and they got them on both sides of the road here. And there's where they feed it back into the grid. This is Ba'is City, just coming into Dumaguete. I'm not sure what the difference is, the distance is, but they're probably real close to each other. Mm -hmm. Last time I came in, from, when I came into Dumaguete, I came in from Cebu. Took the railroad over, so this is all new for me. Typical town. A lot of eateries, places to have your cold drinks and your, uh, tip, uh, your Filipino foods, call it Carandarius, depending on where you're from, of course. Driving is always fast and impatient here. And you got people coming around like this guy on a motorcycle. And, and when you get ready to go around somebody, some a motorcycle darts in and gets in your way. All right. All right. We're almost in Dumaguete now. Uh, this over here is the southern tip of Cebu Island. And that's where the ferry is. You can get on that ferry. We just passed the, passed the ferry landing here a couple kilometers back. And if you can go over there, uh, that'll drop you into the southern tip of the island. And then you can go on up and go to Oslo, open the whale watching, and do all of that. Now, what you're seeing over here is to do a get take. And that's the big port and stuff. 
you know that remember all these lights in 2015 when I was here all these light posts going down the, the, the sides they were always so nice they looked brand new but a lot of them been destroyed now accidents of course Ugh. Get around this guy. The tricycle drivers are slower here. Uh, actually, they're real, they're real slow. They're, they're kind of a nuisance. They're so slow. Uh, and the motorcycle drivers that I've seen, the majority of them, they, if they're driving slow, they'll pull over to the way off to that side of the road and drive over there keep the roads clear nice. nice villa nice house private villa it means a house yeah, let's see if I can hit this truck head on another bridge under construction Don't forget that it's really, really pretty. Well, we made it. We made it to the hotel. This is that room. Hello, maid service. Maintenance. Hi, welcome. This is Sir, I am pre service at your wow, thank you. Stay and welcome to my room. <laughs> yeah, that's what I that's what's important. What do we have? TV that swivels? Yeah. Good movies? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got fresh water bottle. Water. But we charged that on the bill. Okay, you didn't get one then, did you? We only drink nasty water. Um, Aircon, of course. This is the Honeycomb Hotel. Uh, and it was, I don't know, I don't remember. Uh, two, no, one five for well, 1,500 pesos per night plus taxes. And we get an ocean view of a tree, two trees. We're right here on Rizal Boulevard which is um, they call the boardwalk and a lot of people know it as a boardwalk even though it's probably not uh, but this is where we got a band here too it plays from nine till one it's free they're out on the patio it gets a little noisy and when they told me about it I says oh that's okay I was there in 2015 and enjoyed it uh, so we're here and it was a long drive yeah we did it non-stop except except for a bathroom break for just a couple of minutes and it was for us it was about a six hour trip and we weren't in a hurry we went as slow as slow as we could for quite a while so we could get take some photographs and take some some video for you and we weren't in a hurry because it's just now three o'clock and our quickest check-in is two. So we're in good shape. Now I just got to get a hold of my few of my friends that I want to visit and we'll see what happens. Okay. Well, there's a big, probably a go-fast boat heading out to sea there. And it looks like it's going right over to an island called Siki Or. And if you can look through the middle of that tree, you'll see a green... Uh, buoy. That's a buoy to bring you into the port. Um, and uh, Siki Hoare is right through the trees over there. Actually, you can see it between these two trees there. Okay, we made it. I'm a little out of breath, but we made it. We had some help getting the luggage upstairs. <laughs> 